Southeast Asia, a region of magnificent natural wealth and diversity, a teeming melting pot of some 630 million multi-ethnic, multi-religious, and multilingual peoples, a region of many cultures. Yet, amidst this multiplicity of races and cultures, there are common threads that bind the peoples of Southeast Asia. Thus, in the early 60s, attempts were made to establish an association among the Southeast Asian nations. Forerunners to the ASEAN were two smaller regional organizations, the Association of Southeast Asia and the Mafilindo. On July 31, 1961, ASA, the Association of Southeast Asia, was established by the foreign ministers of the Federation of Malaya, the Philippines, and Thailand. ASA set an important precedent by facilitating communication among the foreign ministers of culturally and historically diverse independent states. ASA was, however, dissolved on September 16, 1963. In July 1963, the Greater Malayan Confederation or Mafilindo was established, comprised of the Federation of Malaya, the Philippines, and Indonesia, aimed at approaching common issues and concerns through consensus. However, Mafilindo never advanced beyond its declaratory establishment. Four years later, in the desire to promote regional cooperation in the spirit of equality and partnership, five Southeast Asian countries agreed to form a regional organization with the name the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. The historic signing of the ASEAN Declaration was held on August 8, 1967 in Bangkok, Thailand. The signatories were Adam Malik, Foreign Minister of Indonesia, Tun Abdul Razak bin Hussein, Foreign Minister of Malaysia. Narciso Ramos, Foreign Minister of the Philippines. S. Rajarat Nam, Foreign Minister of Singapore. Tanat Koman, Foreign Minister of Thailand. The ASEAN Declaration underscores the collective will of five nations in Southeast Asia to bind themselves together in friendship and cooperation. Several years later, the ASEAN opened its doors to five other Southeast Asian states, Brunei Darussalam on January 8, 1984, Vietnam on July 28, 1995, Laos and Myanmar on July 23, 1997, and Cambodia on April 30, 1999. With the advent of the new millennium, 10 countries in Southeast Asia have bonded with a goal to become one community. Brunei Darussalam an independent sultanate with strong Islamic values and identity. It has one of the highest per capita incomes in Southeast Asia, the third largest oil producer in Southeast Asia, and the fourth largest producer of liquefied natural gas in the world. The Kingdom of Cambodia, the oldest nation in Southeast Asia tracing its roots to the ancient Funan civilization, a rice-producing country abundant in mineral and natural resources, home to the famous Angkor Wat, the most extensive concentration of religious temples in the world. Republic of Indonesia, the largest archipelago in the world, with a culture greatly influenced by three major world religions, Hinduism, Buddhism, and Islam. The world's second largest producer of natural gas, other major resources are crude oil, gold, palm oil, rice, tea, spices, and rubber. Home to eight UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the most number in Southeast Asia. Lao People's Democratic Republic, the only landlocked country in Southeast Asia, with an ancient heritage evident in its old capital city, Luang Prabang, an economy fueled by agriculture, manufacturing, and mining. Its major resources are coal, tin, gemstones, coffee, tobacco, cotton, and hydroelectric power. Malaysia, now one of the strongest economies in Southeast Asia, the world's largest producer of rubber, tin, and palm oil. Other major resources are bauxite, copper, iron ore, petroleum, and timber home of UNESCO Heritage Sites Melaka and Georgetown, 
two historic cities of the Straits of Malacca. Republic of the Union of Myanmar, the Southeast Asian country with the second largest land area, one of the world's main sources of copper, tungsten, silver, and semi-precious stones. 90% of the world's rubies come from this country, famous for its Shwedagon Pagoda, one of the most revered Buddhist temples in Southeast Asia. Republic of the Philippines, an archipelago of more than 7,000 islands, the first country in Southeast Asia to declare independence from colonial powers, the world's largest producer of coconut, pineapple, and abaca, rich in mineral and geothermal energy resources, home of the Ifugo Rice Terraces, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, regarded as an ancient agricultural engineering wonder. Republic of Singapore, the smallest member state in terms of land area, now an important financial and business center in Asia, one of the busiest economies and the second best performing economy in the world. Major industries include petrochemicals, textiles, and shipbuilding, financial services, and tourism. Kingdom of Thailand, the only Southeast Asian country that was never colonized by Western powers the third largest exporter of rice and one of the largest producers of tin in the world. Top exporter of sapphires and rubies. One of the world's top travel destinations with its capital Bangkok and Ayutthaya, an ancient capital city as major tourist attractions. The Socialist Republic of Vietnam, second largest exporter of rice in the world. Rich in natural and mineral resources such as coal, phosphates, chromites, offshore oil and gas deposits. Major agricultural resources are rice, tea, coffee, rubber, timber, and marine products. With seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites, led by Ha Long Bay, which was also voted in 2011 as one of the seven natural wonders of the world. ASEAN, 10 member states bound together as exemplified in its motto, emblem, and flag. ASEAN is guided by its motto, one vision, one identity, one community. The ASEAN emblem represents a stable, peaceful, united, and dynamic ASEAN. The ASEAN flag is a symbol of the member state's unity and support for the principles and endeavors of ASEAN, a means to promote greater ASEAN awareness and solidarity. ASEAN, whose founding in 1967 was met with skepticism, has proven that it can succeed and is now recognized as one of the world's most respected regional organizations. In its early years, ASEAN focused on laying its foundations and adopting fundamental principles to govern the relations among its member states. As a basic principle, decision-making in ASEAN is based on consultation and consensus. In 2003, the ASEAN leaders resolved that an ASEAN community shall be established comprising three pillars. The ASEAN Political Security Community, ASEAN Economic Community, and ASEAN Social Cultural Community. The goal of the ASEAN Political Security Community is to settle intra-regional differences and promote peace and security in the region. The ASEAN Economic Community aims to create a stable, prosperous and highly competitive economic region. The ASEAN Socio-Cultural Community envisions a Southeast Asia bonded together as a community of caring societies and founded on a common regional identity. How is the ASEAN structured? At the top is the ASEAN Summit or the meeting of the ASEAN Heads of State and Government. Held twice annually, the leaders provide policy guidance and decide on key issues and important matters of interest to member states to realize the objectives of ASEAN. Below the ASEAN Summit is the ASEAN Coordinating Council, which meets at least twice a year. It is composed of the foreign ministers of the 10 ASEAN member states. Under the ASEAN Coordinating Council are the ASEAN Community Councils, comprised of the ASEAN Political Security Community Council, ASEAN Economic Community Council, and ASEAN Socio-Cultural Community Council. 
under each ASEAN Community Council are relevant ASEAN sectoral ministerial bodies. To provide for greater efficiency in the coordination of ASEAN organs and implementation of ASEAN projects and activities, the ASEAN Secretariat was established on February 24, 1976. Based in Jakarta, Indonesia, the ASEAN Secretariat is headed by the Secretary General, who also serves as the Chief Administrative Officer of ASEAN. Each ASEAN member state appoints a permanent representative to ASEAN, with the rank of ambassador based in Jakarta. The permanent representatives collectively constitute a committee of permanent representatives. Since the creation of ASEAN in 1967, several landmark decisions and documents have been agreed upon by the member states, such as the following. 1971, the declaration of ASEAN as a zone of peace, freedom and neutrality. 1976, the ASEAN Concord or Bali Concord 1. 1976, the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia. 1987, the Protocol Amending the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation. 1992, ASEAN Free Trade Area. 1992, the ASEAN Declaration on the South China Sea. 1994, the ASEAN Regional Forum. 1995, the Treaty on the Southeast Asia Nuclear Weapons Free Zone. 1997, the ASEAN Vision 2020. 2003, Bali Concord 2. 2004, the Vientiane Action Program or VAP, 2004 to 2010. 2007, Cebu Declaration on the Acceleration of the Establishment of an ASEAN Community by 2015. 2009, Hanoi Master Plan on ASEAN Connectivity. 2009, the Roadmap for an ASEAN Connectivity 2009 to 2015. 2011, ASEAN Plus 3 Emergency Rice Reserve. The ASEAN Charter was signed on November 20, 2007 in Singapore and entered into force on December 8, 2008. The Charter serves as a firm legal foundation for the envisioned One ASEAN Community. To solidify its external relations, ASEAN has conferred the status of dialogue partner with Australia, Canada, China, European Union, India, Japan, New Zealand, Republic of Korea, Russia, and the United States. At the 22nd ASEAN Summit held in Brunei Darussalam on 24 to 25 April 2013, the leaders again affirmed its mandate to move forward with even greater zeal to achieve the goal of one ASEAN community. With 10 member states bound together in ties of friendship and goodwill to become one caring and sharing community by 2015, a truly people-centered region of lasting peace and stability, sustained economic growth, and shared prosperity and social progress. This is ASEAN. One vision, one identity, one community.